Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Showcase video. In today's video, we're looking at another atmospheric fighter called the Valkyrie Mark II AV, which is this lovely thing right here. So this is a small ship that features the DLC blocks and some of the newer blocks from the Sparks to the Future update. We can see we've got those fancy writings on the side there, spelling out Valkyrie. We've got our fancy reskinned atmospheric thrusters, and we've got a few more bits and bobs all the way around the ship. So let's press F10 and find it in the spawn menu. There we go, Valkyrie is quite a popular name it seems. Anyway, this thing is 693 small blocks using the Sparks of the Future DLC pack. We can see all its features written right there, and we can also see a little bit of side information such as the carbon fibre skin from the decoration pack, which is not required, it just means that when you spawn it in without it, you just get the default skin, which isn't much of an issue. We then got all its weapons and all its block counts and all that, and there we go. So what we're going to do is have a quick look around the outside, then we're going to fly it around and see what it can do. So coming all the way to the very front here, this is what we get. So we've got our fighter cockpit for us to fly this thing around, and just in front of it we can see some black carbon fiber blocks just coming around these Gatling guns. A camera in the dead center so we can perfectly aim these guns, and a spotlight below that so you can make sure you, you can see where you're shooting. As we move around the side we can see we've got a landing gear just below that so we can plop ourselves down all nice and proper. And moving across we can see we've got the first of many atmospheric thrusters. An ore detector there which is mainly for decoration but you could use it if you wanted to go and hunt some ore and report it back to your base. Below that a connector and as we move across to our wing even more atmospheric thrusters. Some more Gatling guns in a similar setup except instead of the camera being in the middle we get a spotlight, and where the spotlight would be, we've got ourselves a rocket launcher. As we move around the side, just coming across to here, we then got some interior lights with a red and a whitey glow. Moving around to the back, we can see we've got some small blocks, just to finish off decoration, hiding where that spotlight is being kept, and more atmospheric thrusters. Moving along around to the back, this is what we get, two large atmospheric thrusters to push us along, and we've got a small one right there facing backwards to help us slow down with an LCD screen just below that with a warning symbol to let you know that if you stand right here you're going to get nice and crispy. Coming down and underneath we can see the bottoms of some batteries and some more large atmospheric thrusters. We can see the bottoms of our rocket launchers on our left and our right and some blast or blocks along with a few cargo containers lining the middle. We've got some more landing gears just beside them to help us plop ourselves down. And as we move towards the front, there's a connector for us to connect up to. A handy little camera so we can see where we're connecting to, so we don't have to use the third person camera. Then moving towards the front, we've got some more reverse facing thrusters to help us stop. And we see the bottoms of some rocket launches that I did miss out at the very front. So we are quite heavily armed with this thing. I've got a nice lot of stuff to make sure we can keep this thing flying. Up and above, just behind our cockpit, we've got a small little reactor with some blast door edges surrounding it. This is going to be our jump start to make sure we can keep this thing charged up if we're away from a base and can't use our connector to draw power. Some more thrusters there to help us go down. There's some more batteries, some more cargo containers, more large atmospheric thrusters. Then on the top of the wings, if I come across to here, We've got some letter blocks that spell Valkyrie and below that on our pink strip we've got some decoys to make sure these get blasted first and not your important thrusters or power. And that is pretty much it. It's a bloody fantastic design considering how few blocks it really uses which is great if you wanted to build it in survival mode. The reactor might be a bit of an issue but then again we've got plenty of batteries on here which could easily be recharged via the connector. So what we're going to do now is hop into my character, bring up the HUD, and see what this thing can do. So let me just raise this up, and let's go through them. So number one is going to be to fire our Gatling guns. So the two on each wing and the two at the front fire forwards, allowing us to get a nice spread of damage. Number two is for our rocket launchers, where the two at the front and one on each wing fires forwards again for a nice spread. 
Number three is for our camera to view straight forwards so we can aim our guns like so. And number four will be to aim our connector to make sure we're going to lock in and not slam into a base. Number five is to lock or unlock our connector. Number six is for our abstract thrusters on and off. And number seven is for our all detectors on and off. Tab number two, three and four are empty. So that is pretty much it. So a quick little thruster test before we try this thing against maybe a spawned base. Let's go forwards. We've got some really good speed with this. And then stopping is pretty good as well. Going left. And going right. Nice little speed there. Going down. Nice and fast. And going up exceptionally fast which is something I do like to see. You always want to make sure you've got that speed to pull away from something. Especially if it's exploding or rotors are going clang. Moving my mouse around. There's a little bit of weight on here, but it feels just right for a fighter of this size. So now what I'm going to do is spawn in a much larger ship. Where is the good old Albatross? I like being up this ship. It's a nice big target. And let's just go and plop you down. I think this thing, yeah, this thing is mainly hydrogen. I always forget about that. Drop that down there. Get back into the cockpit. And let's see what kind of damage we can do when it pops into existence. There we go. So there it is. It's a nice big fighter. Let's go for our Gatling guns first and start blasting into its heavily armoured blocks. So you can see the spread damage there is starting to a nice bit, especially to those thrusters on top. If we switch to the rockets, it's going to be nice and good. So that is now slowly drifting away, which is more the way I spawned it in than anything else, but we can encourage it by shooting some more missiles into it. There we go. We shoot straight into its hangar bay. Switch back to the rockets, or the galling guns even, and continue to blast it along the side there. And there we go, it is now crashed down. We can pummel it with our guns. And despite having this many guns on there, it doesn't really feel that overkill with it. In fact, it feels a little bit lackluster against the Albatross. That might just be because of the heavy armoured blocks all the way through it. But we can just keep shooting our missiles into it, shooting some more galling guns, and slowly destroy it. Let's get a bit closer and see what we've done. Whoopsie, going a bit fast. So the last thing to do is just fly this along and let's go and slam ourselves into this rock. That's a nice grand finale. So it'll be in the description below if you do want to play around with it yourself. That was really disappointing, so let's try that again. Yes, there'll be a link to it in the description below if you did want to play around with it yourself. I highly recommend you do because it is a nice little ship, especially if you own the Sparks of the Future update and want to know what type of things you can do with it. So thank you all for watching, and I'll be back with another video somewhat soon. Bye bye.